What's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at the 2022 May the 4th Ultimate Collector Series set Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. This is set number 75341. Comes at 1,890 pieces. It's recommended for ages 8 and up and comes out on May 1st for $199. Now traditionally LEGO always does their May the 4th promotion starting on May 1st. So this is technically the May 4th UCS set, but it is releasing on May 1st, just so you guys know. I do want to give a huge thanks to LEGO for sending over a copy of the Land Speeder for us to take a look at today. Of course, all opinions will be my own. So I remember last year when the rumor for the Land Speeder came out, and I honestly thought it was a joke, and then this arrived, and I was like, wait, April Fool's was like three weeks ago. But here is the Luke's Land Speeder. Now, depending on who you ask, this is or is not iconic. For me, this isn't really even in the top five of iconic vehicles from Star Wars, but let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Of course, it is an 8 18 plus adult collector set so we have the black background with graphics of the land speeder now if you turn towards the back of the set here you have a couple different things you have the dimensions of the land speeder including 19 inches long and over four inches tall this will be a little different in terms of height when you actually put it on the display and then you have pictures of both the set and then also the land speeder from episode four which is pretty cool um, for those of you who are excited for that so all in all here is the land speeder and for all intents and purposes i think it looks phenomenal there's only a couple of things that i would have liked to have done differently or have changed with the actual set but first let's go ahead and talk about the minifigures now like I said this is a $200 Lego set we got two minifigures one of which is brand new and exclusive and really awesome and the other not so much the one that's really cool is a brand new C-3PO amazing amazing detail so this is the first time that we're getting a C-3PO with a little grave right foot which looks absolutely fantastic he does have side printing on pretty much everything so he comes with arm printing comes with side printing on the legs including toe printing and just overall beautiful printing like all around this is 100% my favorite C-3PO minifigure Lego has ever made and I'm happy um, that with the land speeder we got a new updated protocol droid because there's not many options you can do um, with the land speeder and then the other minifigure here is Luke Skywalker he is exactly the same as ones in the past nothing new and exclusive to this luke skywalker he does come with a lightsaber and the binoculars but other than that he has a typical white uh, outfit for the homestead lars homestead episode 4 um fit i guess if you will so on the other hand i'm happy we got a new c-3po it's a pretty cool minifigure and definitely one that should surprise a lot of you and i think a lot of you are going to enjoy it but luke skywalker on the other hand not so much Minifigure selection is just sort of okay. So now let's get on into the stand. Of course, you do have the plaque for the land speeder. It includes all the dimensions and all the information about the starship in the Star Wars universe. So you can see here the manufacturer is Soro Sub Corporation. It is 3.4 meters long. The engines are repulsor lift and thrust turbines with a maximum altitude of 1 meter, 250 kilometers per hour as the maximum speed. And of course, you have all the capacity of the land speeder itself. Now, the entire land speeder is connected to this black Technic stand. Like all UCS sets, this one works pretty similarly. So you guys will see here right behind the plaque, there are these two little prongs for the UCS land speeder. And on the bottom of the land speeder, there are also a space for these two prongs. All you have to do is line it up. It is not the easiest. It's not at an angle, so you kind of have to like eyeball really good where the land speeder is going to fit. But overall, the stand does its job. It fits really sturdy. It's not going to wobble anywhere. And it is nice that we have it elevated, again, just to sort of give it the idea that it is a land speeder, so it should be sort of levitating um, in the air. But let's go ahead and talk about the build. In fact, one of the great things I love about it is the plethora of nougat colors. We rarely see a set with lots of different nougats, so the mock builder in me is going to geek out a little bit here for a second in today's review. There are a lot of good parts we have some wedge plates we have some different modified plates some two by four plates some tile a bunch of really cool pieces in the nougat color which is awesome now i don't remember exactly what shade of nougat this is i want to say this is like light nougat or something but again I, i'm not too sure i forget the exact color so let me know down below in the comments about that but overall the colors are amazing it's vibrant it pops off it looks super accurate and i also love how the stickers came to be in the set of course if you put on stickers right they always look amazing but they look really good especially in the main engine right here behind the cockpit and then the one on the right as well so overall the colors the schematics the aesthetic of the land speeder is fantastic there also is a brand new included windscreen piece that is completely exclusive to the set i'm really interested to see uh what mock builders do with this thing because i think that's a pretty unique windshield piece that we probably won't be seeing again at least for a very long time now another really cool part of the land speeder is the front details right here all these pipes are pneumatic flex tubes i believe they are dark bluish gray or metallic dark 
Gray. There's 10 of them, five on each side, and they basically sort of line through the entire side of the land speeder, and then they connect at the front. This is a beautiful, beautiful look. In fact, when I unboxed the box initially, this was the first part that caught my eye. These flex tubes are really cool to have, and it looks really good in this land speeder. And then you can see here towards the front of the land speeder, you also have some stickers here, some scratches, and some dings up on the land speeder because it is, I believe, a little more run down and rugged as we see in the movie. Now, the front of the land speeder in terms of studs to not studs ratio is pretty solid. Obviously, there are a lot of studs right around the cockpit, but there's not too much you could do to avoid that. I would have loved to see less studs, however, in the back, right behind the cockpit. There is just, I feel like, a lot of studs for this land speeder right here. I think it would have been better to include some tile or some other parts just to minimize the studs. Of course, I don't want to completely get rid of it. I think Lego studs are really iconic in sets, but just a little bit too much compared to the front. If you look at the front and the back, I feel like there's just a little bit of a difference here in what you get with the tiles. But in terms of the cockpit, it looks pretty good. You got two seats here. All of them are lined in black tile. On the right driver's seat, of course, you have the gear shift, the module control, and then you also have the steering wheel. So pretty solid. Again, many figures aren't really going to scale well in this, so I don't recommend and you put them in here, but you could if you wanted to. And then as you move towards the left side of the land speeder here, or the co-pilot side, you have this sort of engine that's a little more busted up. It reminds me a lot of the Mandalorian and one Starfighter, sort of how it's like bare bones type thing. So you have the engines, you can see here all the wiring, all the details, including some whip parts, um, some modified tubes, and a whole bunch of other really cool things that gives it that rundown sort of look. And then lastly, in terms of aesthetics, on the back of the land speeder here, you do have some angled plates that do form uh, sort of, I guess, the backwards ventilation exhaust or something like that on the land speeder. So overall, pretty good. And then on the bottom of the land speeder, you do have some pretty solid detail. And you also have these two by two transparent pieces. This is going to allow you to sort of levitate it, I guess, in the air when it's on a table. So that way it doesn't dip towards one side or the other. So in terms of aesthetic, in terms of how it looks, in terms of the build, honestly, it's probably an eight out of 10. There's not much I would change about the land speeder, but it's a land speeder. And that leads me to my final conclusions in this review video. For me personally, and for a lot of you, I feel like this just isn't a set we particularly care about. Now, I talked to a bunch of people about the land speeder before, and some of them said it's iconic. Some of them said that it deserved a UCS set, and some of them said absolutely not. And that's sort of in my ballpark. If I had to name the top five vehicles in Star Wars, it goes X-Wing, TIE Fighter, Star Destroyer, Millennium Falcon, stuff like that. The Land Speeder really isn't even in the top 10. But I know for some people, they are excited for this. For those of you who are really excited about the original trilogy and who love just the Land Speeder, this is going to be a great set for you. And so with the conclusion that I have on the Land Speeder is for me, it's not my set. It's not something I really want to get. However, it does look super good. I think a lot of you guys who are excited for it will enjoy it. It was a fun build process, but just for the majority of the online LEGO Star Wars community here, I don't think this is a set that was really ever on our to get list but it's here and i definitely see a lot of maybe the older fans of star wars who grew up with the original trilogy i think this is going to be a pretty good seller for them so i guess bottom line you know not every ucs set's going to be tailor made for us here i'm disappointed that we got the land speeder instead of something else that i would have much rather liked but nonetheless here we are as a set in terms of how it looks i think lego did a pretty good job it's just not something I was looking forward to. So guys, that wraps up my review of the Skywalker's Land Speeder here coming out on May 1st for $199.99 here in the US. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this set. Is this something that you're going to be picking up? Is it something you're not even going to give a second glance to and you're going to pass on it? Maybe save up for other Star Wars sets coming out? Because remember, just a couple of days before this, there are the three dioramas and the Republic fighter tank coming out as well. So you might want to consider those. Maybe instead of spending $200 here, maybe get a couple fighter tanks. That's probably what I would end up doing. But then Thank you guys for watching my review. Hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like down below and I'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.